Hello, my name is Alejandro Sainz. I work for the Scopia Backbone team. We are going to talk about the Scopia management. What can I do on the user portal? So we are going to see we are going to see uh, how the user portal works here in the browser. We are going to the URL or to the uh, IP address of uh, Scopia management. Uh, by default, it's going to open the uh, the user portal. As you can see, uh, the user portal is there. So you need to credential the credentials to access the user portal. Here is going to be the the password. And here we are inside the user portal. Depending of your user rights, you can see uh, some meetings, yours or all the meetings on Scopia Management, for example, right now, like right now. So we are going to settings, and here you can you can do, uh, for example, you can modify your, the password. You should use the current password and the new one, and confirm it. Okay. Uh, something very important here is also that you can download from here and download and install the Scopia Management add-in for Microsoft, Microsoft Office Outlook. And you can change also, well, here you can run, save, and then install. Uh, here you can change uh, your virtual room settings. For example, you can use a different meeting type here. You can you can set a moderator pin, and you can you can change some of the of the features. For example, always record meetings, or place participants in a waiting room until the moderator joins the meeting. Here you can select endpoints to have the endpoints in on the meeting since the meeting starts. Now we are going to talk about the meetings on the Scopia Management User Portal. Okay, we are going to the Scopia Management Administration Portal. So we need the credentials here. We are joining. And now this is very important. Uh, to determine if the user uh, can see all the meetings on the on the user portal or just their meetings we should see uh, the permissions for that uh, specific user okay we are going to see with this user and and here we can see the user profile and we are going to we are going to click in view this is a group that's why all these groups have the same uh, permissions, okay? And here we can see the user capabilities. It's very important. Uh, this user can view all the meetings in the user portal, okay? So we are going to see an example of this now. Back here on the user portal, uh, we can see the meetings that are are here. Here is the meeting ID, and we can double click to moderate the meeting or select and moderate. Okay. Here on on the on the here is the moderation uh, and control for the meeting. Okay. You can start recording, connect connect using Scopia Desktop, lock the meeting, extend. Uh, or terminate the meeting and you can invite here more more participants okay let's invite to another endpoint for example the XT5000 accepted the call now we have we have two endpoints on this call okay we can block 
video, block speakers, or also block microphone. Okay. I'm going to disconnect a participant from the call. The XT4300 is now disconnected. And now we are going to see how can we schedule another call, another meeting. Okay, example number two. Here we can select our room or another. The, the service or the meeting type we are going to use, the subject, and here are the options. We can put a message for the email, for example. This is a, t a test. Here in the endpoints, we are going to invite the XT4300. We can check availability. We can select, if we have an, an ASSR, the Avaya Streaming or Recording Server, we can select to, to broadcast or to, to the, the meeting or to start recording the meeting. And here in advanced, we, ca we can also uh, select the record the meeting. We have all the options. We, we can also reserve uh, ports of the MCU. And that's it. We are going to send the invitation. And we have now the two scheduled meetings. Okay. Oh, I received the email as because I am the user. So here is example. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.